This video is for educational purposes only. It's not medical advice. Don't take research chemicals or megadose flavonoids just because a YouTube video told you to. Seriously, your liver has enough problems already. There's a new buzzword floating around the biohacking corners of the internet, senolytics. Molecules supposedly capable of clearing out zombie cells. Those old, half-dead cells that refuse to die and instead ooze inflammatory chaos into your tissues. And at the top of the senolytic hype list, a humble yellow pigment found in strawberries and apples, Visidin. Yes, the supplement aisle's new superhero claims to do what decades of anti-aging research only dreamed of, delete the cellular undead. Welcome to Biohack Stack, the frontier of experimental molecules, fringe therapeutics, and the occasional bad decision in the name of science. Today, we're slicing open the hype around Physidin, what it actually does, how it works mechanistically, and whether clearing out zombie cells might make you feel like a new organism, or just really bad for a few days. Physidin is a plant flavonoid. Think of it as a chemical cousin of quercetin, but with a slightly spicier resume. In the lab, it acts as a potent antioxidant and anti-inflammatory molecule, but where it really shines is in its senolytic potential. In 2018, researchers at the Mayo Clinic published a paper showing that Physidin could selectively kill senescent cells in aged mice. This extended both their lifespan and health span. Mice on Physidin didn't just live longer, they lived better, with improved tissue function and reduced inflammation. And this is what sparked the human gold rush, because Physidin isn't a prescription drug, it's a supplement, meaning you can buy it online, in bulk, right now. And you can technically start clearing senescent cells this weekend. Cue the YouTube biohackers, Reddit protocols, and self-experiments. So what are these so-called zombie cells? In short, they're cells that have stopped dividing but refuse to die. Normally, a damaged or aged cell triggers apoptosis, a clean, pre-programmed death. And sometimes that system breaks, and instead the cell just lingers, metabolically active but dysfunctional, secreting pro-inflammatory cytokines in what's called the SASP, senescence-associated secretory phenotype. Think of it as a rotting apple in a fruit bowl, making the rest go bad. Physidin appears to work by modulating key survival pathways, like BCL2, PI3K slash AKT, and mTOR, tipping the balance towards apoptosis in those lingering senescent cells. Essentially, it tells these zombie cells, hey buddy, it's time to go into the light. At the same time, Physidin reduces oxidative stress. It suppresses NFKB, that inflammatory switch inside the cells, and boosts glutathione meaning it's kind of part janitor, part executioner. Most human data is still preliminary. There are a few clinical trials ongoing. One at Mayo Clinic tested Physidin in older adults, while another explored its use in osteoarthritis and frailty. But the biohacker underground doesn't wait for peer review. Popular self-experiment protocols involve senolytic pulses, short, high-dose periods, like 20 to 40 milligrams per kilogram, for two days, rather than daily dosing. The theory is, clear out senescent cells in bursts, then let your body rebuild. Some users report flu-like symptoms for a day or two afterwards, possibly from cell debris being cleared, or possibly from taking enough Physidin to turn their blood into herbal tea. These cycles often happen every few months, mimicking the way researchers dose senolytics in animal studies. The idea is not to take it forever, but to periodically clean house. But here's the thing, none of this is actually proven in humans yet. We don't know what dose really reaches tissues or how long it lasts. Physidin is notoriously poorly bioavailable, meaning most of it might never even make it past your liver. Some biohackers co-dose it with fat, piperine, or liposomal carriers to boost absorption. Others stack it with quercetin thinking the combo might amplify the senolytic punch. But the science is still really early. Like, we just invented fire early. Still, it's hard not to be fascinated. 
a safe natural molecule that could slow aging by selectively deleting old broken cells? That's the closest thing to cellular housekeeping we've ever discovered. Whether it actually works in humans remains to be seen, but it's an experiment worth watching, if not yet imitating. And at the very least, eating more strawberries probably won't hurt. Thanks for watching Biohack Stack, where curiosity meets questionable life choices. If you enjoyed this dive into Fizodin and the Senolytic rabbit hole, give it a like. Drop your self-experiment stories in the comments with appropriate disclaimers. And subscribe for more deep dives into the weird, the hyped, and the biologically ambitious.